Alkyl halides or haloalkanes is the derivatives of alkane. Consider example we have methane CH4. If you remove one hydrogen from methane, so it will become CH3. Now we will add halogen, which is basically fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. And we add consider fluorine. So now this is called alkyl halides or haloalkanes. Haloalkanes. The general formula for representation of alkane of alkyl halides are CN H2N plus 1 and X. Where N is number of carbon atoms. Number of carbon atoms. While X we have is functional group. Functional group or atom, it may be bond, it is maybe a species which add to organic compounds, so it completely change their physical property. So here in this case of alkyl halides, halogen is the functional group. So this was a little bit about alkyl halides. Now we will talk about it. What is basically how the physical property of alkyl halide is different from all other organic compound. So in physical property, the first we have is we know it all organic compound which is uh, which have lower carbon which have small number of carbon atom are gases next 13 14 member are liquids while the higher are solids just like all dead organic compound the physical state of alkyl halides is also like dead for example ch3cl c2h5cl these lower members are gases while up to carbon 18 are liquids while the higher members are solid at room temperature the reason is because here is small carbon atom so it is easy to break the bond that's why the small is exist in liquid gas state next exist in liquid state while the higher member exists in solid state the next property is solubility so solubility means means that that whether it dissolves in water or whether it dissolves in organic substance like ether alcohol etc so it is insoluble in water but it is soluble in benzene ether etc because it is organic compound and the next reason is it cannot make bond a uh, hydrogen um, uh, equivalent of uh, hydrogen bond with water that's why it is unsoluble insoluble in water the third basic property we have density and density there is some conspiracy theory that the density of uh, basically we have four of uh, halogen the first one chlorine chlorine bromine and iodine so the density of alkyl chloride and alkyl chloride are lighter than water alkyl ch3f and ch3cl are lighter than water but the density of alkyl bromide and alkyl iodide ch3 br and ch3 ie is greater than water so here the main reason is the atomic mass of bromine and iodine is higher as compared to that of chlorine and fluorine that's why the density of alkyl bromide and alkyl iodide is higher than water while alkyl fluoride and alkyl chloride is lesser than water the next property we have is boiling point the boiling point of 
alkyl halide is increasing with increasing in number of carbon atoms. If there is more number of carbon atoms, so their boiling point will be high. If there is low, small number of carbon atom, so their boiling point will be low. But listen, boiling point of alkyl halides are we have high than that of alkane. Why the boiling points of alkyl halides are higher than alkane? Is we have alkyl halides. Their boiling point is higher than alkane because the reason is here in case of alkyl halide we have polarity. This we have fluorine which is more electronegative than hydrogen. So here it will appear negative charge and in carbon it will appear positive charge. So this is the main reason that the boiling point of alkyl halide is higher. While in case of alkane there is no polarity equal hydrogen is attached with carbon that's why alkyl halides have higher boiling point than alkane so this was all about the physical properties of alkane in next video we will discuss about the nomenclature their activity and so on thanks for watching